to Him no matter what. Yeah. 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 That's what we're saying this morning. I know you had to work. But that devil can't cross Whoa. that blood line. Right. He can't step in. Amen. If you give it all to God, He'll give it all to God. That's separate you right there. The only way you go back is willingly. Amen. You have to be willing to turn back. Uh, yes. 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 God's giving you a way of escape. Right. Yes. 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 Yeah. 
They had allowed the enemy come on, to come please. into their territory. Yeah, come on, yeah. now I'm going to be talking to you yeah. tonight about how the enemy works in our life. Come you on, can man. take this right here. You know, the Word of God is for our example. Yeah. Some yeah. people yeah. don't like you yeah. to go to the old and some... Because I'm telling you, every bit of this word is good. And it's for our example. And we can learn some things. God has taught me some things just in these scriptures right here. He shows me, He'll let you see the picture of the enemy. How the enemy works and how he wants to come in. And he wants to invade your territory. And if you're not careful, you can let him in. And if you give him just a little bit of room, guess what? He's not going to stop at that little bit. Because he's out to destroy you. He's out to completely destroy me. He wants to destroy you because he does not like you. He has no use for you except to do his evil deeds. But the enemy wants to come in and he wants to destroy. So here we find in the word of God, we find Saul and them having the battle. They were on one side and the Philistines were on the other side. There was going to be a battle and it was a distressful time. Now as we read and we understand about Goliath, it speaks a lot about him. It speaks about his armor. And yes, he had great armor on. But his armor was made by man. But you've got to understand, you've got an armor. But That's why 
the way the enemy works. That's why he wants us to see. That's why he wants us to feel. Why? Because he wants us to not trust in our God. He doesn't want us to trust him. And to believe what he says in this world. You know, God is faithful. And God is true. And God is just. It's not time to let down. It's not time to back up. It's not time to be wishy washy. It's time to set your foot on that solid rock and take a stand. You know, God, he does care. Not time to give up no ground. Every 
everything that you have. He wants to steal all of it. He'll even steal the word of God right out of your heart. We cannot allow him to do that. He wants to steal. He came to kill and to steal and to destroy. I don't want him to take my peace. I don't want him to take my joy. I don't want him to come in and tell me a lie. And give me, fill me with depression or oppression. Tell me that I can't make it. Oh, look what you're going through. You can't. Yes, you can. Oh, yes, you can.
I glorify God. Yes. I love it. I bring my notes and I, I don't even get in those totally on the hay. God is teaching me more and more to trust Him. Yeah. And I want to tell you something. Just because you trust Him in one thing doesn't mean you trust Him in something else. This trust is just it's a walk also. And each time and each day it changes. And I love Him so much because I'm beginning to trust Him more and more and more. And I'm beginning to depend on Him more and more and more. And rely on him and take him for what he says in his word. His word's true. Every single bit of it is true. That's why I love him. I tell people he's the one true constant in my life because he never changes. I change. But he doesn't change. He doesn't change his mind. He doesn't change. You can count on what he says. Sometimes you can't people but you can God. Yeah. Oh, please rely upon God. Yeah. If you don't get anything else out of this message tonight, to know that the enemy wants to kill and destroy you, but God wants to give you life. Yeah. He's more yeah. He doesn't want you giving up ground. He wants you to make it. Yes, yeah, he will do everything he can to see that you do. He loves you that much. He doesn't give up on you as quickly as you think he does. And I'm thankful for that. And God does hear our prayers. No matter what the enemy says, God hears our prayers. He hears us and he's with us. And I'll tell you, I'm going to share one more scripture. I don't know if I would or not. But it's in, uh, I, I want to think it's Second Kings. I want to show you how powerful our God is and how He watches out for His people. And, and you know, the, uh, He tells us, suppose that fear Him, the angel of the Lord encamps around the back. So you're never alone. Amen. You're never alone. Now, you got to know, you got you got to fear Him. In other words, you got to respect Him to get that. In 2 Kings in chapter 6, and yeah. I'm going to read verse 15 through 17. And, and uh, yeah. this is awesome because uh, God reveals things and he was revealing things to the, to the prophet Elisha about the army of Syria. And he'd go tell them what to do. And this king was mad. And he wanted them to bring him, Elisha, to him. And, and in verse 15 he said, When the servant of the man of God was risen early and gone forth, behold, an host can pass the city both with horses and chariots. And his servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? Or what shall we do? Look at all this. And he answered, Fear not. I love that. Fear not. For they that be with us are more than they that be with them. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw. And behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots. the same thing for you. When you're in the midst of a battle or you're in the midst of a storm, do you not realize that he is doing the same thing for you? Do you think he would do something for one and not do it for the other? Greater is he Why? Because he's with 